Bendición a Lofi, bendición a los Dumari, bendición a los Rum, bendición Bobo Egun Ararun, bendición Santeros Mayores y Menores, bendición Iworo. God bless you all. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I'm doing these videos like back to back. God has given me some strength today. Guys, so this is the Warriors video. I just want to uh, go over a quick, uh, quickly uh, some of the steps that may or may not be in this order, but are definitely in the beginning. Reading, um, Misa Espiritual, yes or no, um, Godparents, um, Eleques, Head Cleansings. These are things that always happen in the beginning in your journey of Lukumi. Uh, and it may just stop in that area, okay? Um, everybody is in, uh, different. We're all individuals. We all have our own issues, problems, likes, differences. So, with that said, um, after Eleques, after the ceremony of Eleques, remember Eleques is a ceremony. Eleques is the Yoruba word, lukumi word, for necklaces. Uh, and these necklaces are banners of protection from your yatobi, babatobi, from your godparents, um, orishas. After this, um, usually a reading is done um, to find uh, out if you need the warriors. Or maybe in the past reading they already had said the warriors are to be received. Okay, so you have the reading, it's done. The warriors are to be received. Uh, sometimes even uh, during the reading they might mark, they may mark the path of your Elegua um, and Ogun. Now, the, the Orishas have different um, times in life or times in the universe. Um, so everybody has a different timing or a different path. And that uh, path is with you to help you. And so during the reading, you might find out these paths. Sometimes even after the ceremony of the warriors, they will ask the Orisha the path, which is okay, guys. Everybody does things differently. Don't freak out, okay? <laughs> some people do it after, some people do it before. As long as it gets done, guys. Okay? Um, and then some people will say, Well, if it's a legua laroya, you have to put the you have to make sure that the legua is made correctly for a legua laroya. Okay. If that's how your house does it, then that's how it does it. Okay? I have nothing against it. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Let's love, guys. Ochun says, let's love. Okay, anyway. So, what are the warriors and why are they called warriors, guerreros? Why um, do we receive them? Everybody has their individual um, uh, reason why they're receiving guerreros. Uh, the warriors are there to help you on your journey. You, as an individual, if you continue in Lukumi to receive the warriors, you have been placed on a path. Okay? You were on the path before, but usually after you receive a legacy, your life gets kind of shaken up. And it might feel bad. Um, it might feel really good. Good things are happening. Either way, your life is shaken up. Um... And that's because the um, Olofi Olodumari Olorun sees and acknowledges that you are taking the necessary steps to get your life together. So therefore, he has to shake things up. And when this is shaken up, you're placed in a totally different uh, in a totally different life. Okay, after Eleques. You're in a totally different lifestyle. Lifestyle. Okay? Now you are able to go to your godfather's chango. 
and pray to Chango. Now you are able to go to uh, Olokun and pray. You are pray able to go to Ochun and talk to Ochun about the love that you want. Now you are able to approach these Orishas with the consent, with the con uh, content. I think that's the right word um, of your God. The consent of your Godfather. Because it's their Orisha. But you are able to go to it. So you're in a totally different lifestyle now. No longer do you have to uh, cry and weep at night uh, about this and that. Now you can go to the Orisha and talk. So you're in a totally different lifestyle. And the warriors are Orishas that are willing to come and live inside your home. Elegua. Ogun, Ochosi, they live together in the same, um, in the same uh, home. Elegua Ochosi, I'm, I'm sorry, Ogun Ochosi live in the same physical, um, we'll just say pot, okay. Uh, and Osun, these energies uh, are going to change your life, and they can change your life for the good or for the worse. Oh, yes. Once you receive, uh, well, let's go back to why you're receiving. Elegua, what do we know him as? We know him as the door. We know him as uh, the trickery. We know him as decision making, communication. So, in your new lifestyle, you are able to go to Elegua, and if you see an opportunity that you would like to take, you say, you know what, I would like to, I would like to run my own business. I would like to knock on the door of business. Elegua, echo dara la roye mi, I go baba. You know, you want to talk to Elegua with your heart when you talk to him. You want to uh, ask him, Elegua. Open the door to business for me. Light a candle. Oh, you're able to do these things. He's now in your home. He is the, the gatekeeper to all things, good and bad. <laughs> okay? He is the gatekeeper. Okay? You go knock on the door. Okay? So, you have this advantage in life now. Mm. Life is looking really good now. The door... Let's say the door to business has been open, okay? Now that you have Elegua, and now you have Ogun and Ochosi. Elegua opened the door, okay? You look and you say, gosh, but there's so much. There, there's so many people in my way. How am I going to get to the top? The door has been open, but how am I going to get to the top? I need help. And this is where the Christians say, I need Jesus right now, okay? I need somebody to make a way out of no way. <laughs> this is when Ogun, he sees it and says, okay, I can cut through that. I can get through that. Okay, those situations in your life. How am I going to stop being an uh, a alcoholic? I, I know I drink too much. Elegua, I know I drink too much, Elegua. But how am I going to get through this? How's I need this cut out my life? Ma ferefuno gun arere mi, ma ferefuno gun. Okay, that machete, the the this he's symbolic of iron, uh, iron, uh, work. He's able to. Uh, Cut through those situations for you. I didn't say cut people, okay? We, a lot of people are thinking, oh, a goon, he go, he go tear you. No, he tears that individual up. He cuts things out of their life that are not good for them, okay? And it could be painful. I'm not saying a blade, your, your best friend of 20 years, uh, all of a sudden, uh, the Orisha... Elegua says, they're no good for you. But you say, Elegua, I know them for 20 years. They've always been good to me. Elegua says, you're on a different path now. And you're in a different lifestyle. I'm going to have to tell Ogun to cut him away. No! 
and the, you can you know that person they're trying to get away their life is leading them away but you are attached on you're attached on okay and what happens when you are attached on and Oguna saying I'm getting ready to cut I'm getting ready to cut you get cut so there's there's two sides to everything you need to be a when you receive the warriors you must be able to readjust your thinking okay because uh, some things are going to be cut out your life what do we know him as especially when he's in the in, living in the same house as Ogun, we know him as uh, direction. Ogun is down on the earth. There's uh, tons and tons of, uh, let's just call it sugar cane <laughs> or tobacco. We got to get to the other side. Elegua has opened the door. Tobacco and sugar cane is in my way. Ogun says, I'll cut through it. But which direction are we going? Right. Ma ferefun or isho chosi. Ochosi is uh he's a hunter. Okay? He's able to sniff things out. Not only that, he'll climb all the way up to the top and look and say, cut that way. That's the direction we're going. He is the arrow. Okay? And I'm not talking about those gossip arrows that everybody's throwing. Okay. Ochosi, as a hunter, when you are hungry, okay, and you don't know where to go. And I'm talking about, let's, let's talk about spiritually hungry. Ochosi's already been a part of your life. He guided you. To this video, he guided you to Lukumi, he guided you to whatever, okay? He showed you the direction. And Legwa offers you direction. Once the door is open, you go that way. Ogun will cut through it, and Ochosi will tell him, over that way, cut this way, cut this way, cut this way. I see it, cut this way, okay? Osun is one of the warriors also. He's the one who notifies. He's the alarm. He is the alarm. So with these warriors in everyday life, we're able to accomplish a lot. That decision you're making about that job. Elegua. Is this job good for me? Is this, you know, I'm knocking at your door, Elegua. Is this good for me? Is this the, is this, you know, is this door the way I should go through, Baba? That flight that you're trying to make, that flight that you would like, that trip that you would like to go on. You know, these are decisions um, now that you're able to uh, go to the Orisha and ask. The warriors, you can accomplish so much, okay? Um, how much do the warriors cost? Let's get down to financial stuff. I can tell you, uh, receiving the warriors here in uh, San Diego, California, cost uh, about 500 maybe a little more. But this was back in 2000, let's see, 2010, I did Ocha. 2006. I want to say. Um, why so much money? Good question. And I, I was very skeptical myself. I said, gosh, this is a very expensive religion. Y'all going to have to help. <laughs> I was telling my ancestors, which I recommend you do. Uh, let me go back really quick. Uh, any financial um, issues that you have with the religion, go to your ancestors. Tell them, I need help. This is how much this is costing, okay? If, if, if any financial situ, uh, situation, go to your ancestors. The rent needs to be paid. Listen, guys. Tell your ancestors just like that. 
listen guys, I love you so much. I love the home that we're in. If it's for me to be out of this home, please take me out. But if it's for me to be here, help me with my money. That doesn't mean you could just sit on the couch though uh, after you pray and hope that the money comes in the mail. You have to put the work in, okay? You have to put the work in. You have to go out and do the applications. Anyway, with that said, um, let's take for instance uh, the 20, uh, the derecho for the Warriors is like $500. You don't have the money. You don't know where it's going to come from. Go to your ancestors. Go to your boveda. Pray. Every dollar counts, guys. Put a dollar on your boveda. Two dollars. So you found some money, put it on your boveda. Pennies, quarters, save all of it next to your boveda. I promise you, if it's for you to have, you will have it. No rush. It will happen when it needs to happen, but you have to put the work in. You have to not be lazy about saving. Okay? I promise. They, your ancestors, if it's for you to have, they will supply the money. Once you get money, put it away. Do not spend it. Okay? You get that little extra money, you say, I worked all week, I deserve something for myself. No. Saving is just what it is. Saving. And that's the, the general concept. Okay? So, with that said... The Warriors are going to cost you nowadays, I want to say, I, I really want to believe it's still 500 um, but people charge tons more. Um, I've heard of people getting the Warriors for $3,000. What do I have to say about that? I can't say anything, but <laughs> because I can't speak against their, their derecho, that's probably how much the Orisha uh, requested. I don't know. Um, I would estimate you need to save about a thousand dollars nowadays. Okay, save a thousand. Um, go to your godparents. Put it all together. You, there's a lot that you need to put together. Sometimes the godparents forget. Okay, these are things you need to ask your godparents about the warriors. Do I need to buy tools? The tools. Okay. And they will tell you, oh yes, you need to buy the tools. Here's the website. Go buy these items. Look for just the tools. Do not be looking for everything on sites and things, okay? Do I need to um, pay for um, the offerings? The, uh, uh, the offerings uh, that are going to be given to the Orisha. Okay, I hope they will understand. Do you need to pay for the offerings? Um, <laughs> do I need to um, buy food for the uh, people who are working the ceremony? Okay, there are people who are going to be working your ceremony. Um, and that's why it also costs uh, so much because the obat, the person who is in charge, or your godfather, your godparent, they have to pay the people who are working your ceremony. There's a lot being done. And there's no machinery. Okay? This is all hands-on hard work. Back-bending work. Okay? So that's why they be looking so tired after ceremony. She'd be like, what was y'all doing? Y'all was just singing. No. The ladies, everyone in the room, the Santeros, were working. Okay? And it, it can be a long, a lengthy one. Um, you have to really trust your godparents. Um, warriors are given in a ceremony. They are just not uh, given. They are just not saying you can't just go to their house and say, uh, "Where are my warrior?" You can't just go pick them up. There's a ceremony, okay, guys? A ceremony for everything. Eleques, warriors, everything. Um, excuse me. So, make sure you know that. Um, I think that's basically it. So, just save about 500 to 1000 um, and get the prices from your godparents um, 
sit down with both of them. I don't recommend, uh, you know, asking one and asking the other because they have to be on the same page. The godparents have to be on the same page. Call them together. If they can't get together, call them on three-way, um, you know, so that they can both give you the same price. Or that one might say, let me call your godmother or call your godparent and we'll discuss it, which is good also. Um, and... Uh, I recommend you buy a set of white clothes just to have. Um, I would even buy uh, two unworn sets of, cl of white clothes. I'm not saying you're going to need both. I'm just saying have those because they're, they're good for you to have. Um, so save, guys, save. And if the, if the Orisha, if your ancestors, if Egun... Um, if a legua, if it's for you to have and you are saving, you're putting the work in, they will definitely supply. Okay? Um, I know th this religion seems very expensive, but you are uh, putting money in hard workers' pockets. Okay? Um, and you'll see. You will see uh, uh, the hard work. If you become a priest, <laughs> it's sad that only priesthood knows the hard work, <laughs> but it's hard work, okay? And it's a lot of time that you you um, spend doing things. <laughs> Guys, love your godparents, too. Every now and then, even if you don't have elekes, even if they just do your head cleansings maybe once a year or something, go love the Orisha. You will be blessed. You will be blessed. Um, another way of saving. I'm getting ready to cut this video off. But another way of saving. Oh, I'm publishing this video. Publish. Very good. Another way of saving, excuse me, is um, keeping the money at your godparents' house. That takes a lot of trust, okay? But if they are Orisha, dedicated, Olofi, and they have the fear of God in them, the money will be safe, okay? Um, for me, I used to save money at my godparents, uh, my Babato B. Obairawo. Even for my uh, warriors, I would go to his Ochun because... I think we pretty much all knew I had Ochun. But <laughs> I used to keep money next to his Ochun and put money inside a little thing or on the ground, put money inside to save for whatever ceremony I had to do. Um, and then I would say, oh, Padrino, how much money do I have in there? And he would say, oh, come and count it. I don't want to count it. You know, how Padrinos are. <laughs> but I love him. That's my dad. Um... So yeah, save there if you can. It's a blessing, and it multiplies, and you can't get to the money. <laughs> um, so with that said, this concludes the video. That is the Warriors. Uh, they are called the Warriors because they fight for you in your life. They fight for the best. They fight for success in your life. And they chop down those things that are in the way. I didn't say those people. Those things that are in the way of you and your success and your goal and your destiny with Olofi Olodumari Olorun. Um, so, God bless you all. Um, like, comment, and um, let me know what the next video should be about. Ciao.